Now, public health stakeholders have accused manufacturers and importers of sugar-sweetened beverages of drawing patronage for their products, despite the attendant health risks associated with their consumption. One of such stakeholders, the Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, also alleged that manufacturers and importers of sweetened beverages use underhand tactics to influence government policies to remain in business. Again, Marvelous Obomanu reports. The Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, also known as CAPA, is one of Nigeria's leading public health advocacy groups. CAPA, in collaboration with other public health experts, recently met with newsmen in Abuja, raising concerns over the strategy being implored by industry players to draw patronage for sugar sweetened beverages, which are detrimental to the health of citizens. SSB Industries heavily invests in advertising and marketing to promote their products. Industries should market their products. That is not a problem. However, they have the responsibility of providing comprehensive information, especially regarding the health-related effects, the risk associated with their products. But we know that unfortunately what we have is we don't get that. They are saying, okay, it's freestyle football challenge. So it's another challenge that you win one millionaire. So you have to be buying the drink and from the bottle of the drink, there are, um, there are codes there that you have to share with them. And um, you win prizes with this. So this is, I mean, they are promoting their brand. They get people to buy more at the expense of their health. In developed countries now, they are now prohibiting the use of SSB. Parents are not even allowed to put these drinks in their school kids' bags because they realize the problem of consuming these products and what you, the very good was called child obesity and people that develop diabetes in future. Here in Nigeria, they are now using our children to even promote those products. Kappa while calling on government to increase taxes on sugary drinks beyond 10 naira, which is currently imposed on importers within beverages. Also, accuse industry players of using underhand tactics to lobby for policies in their favor. When the government and other stakeholders are taking steps in the right direction, making policies that will favor the people, that will improve the health of members of the uh, people in the country, the um, industries use different underhand tactics to modify these policies. They lobby, conduct different act uh, activities to shape policies in their favor. Even for all the products that we have in Nigeria, all of them, their prices are multiplied, multiplied tripled within the, the past one year. As a result, simple economics, as a result of inflation, because it's a fixed rate of 10 naira. The value of 10 naira in 2022 is less than 30 kobo today. With Nigeria currently in need of funds for development, Kappa is calling on government to take advantage of the popularity of sweetened beverages, increase tax to raise revenue, and also discourage consumption. Marvelous Obomanu reporting for News Central.